Hi, I'm Grandpa from Grammy and Grandpa's Reads, and this book is called Silly Tilly's Valentine, and it's by Lily Hoban. It's led to me by my sister, Holly. <laughs> oh, but Lily and Hoban did the pictures as well, and it's a Harper Trophy book. All right, here we go. It was Valentine's Day. Silly Tilly was baking cupcakes. Bring, bring. The telephone rang. Good morning, Tilly Mole, said Mr. Bunny. Do you remember what today is? Oh, dear, said Tilly. I forgot to remember. Well, today is a special day, said Mr. Bunny. Look out the window and you will see. Silly Tilly looked out the window. It's snowing, cried Tilly. It is a special day just right for making a snowman. Snow is nice, said Mr. Bunny, but it's not what I mean. I will see you later, he hung up. Maybe if I go outside, I'll remember why today is special, said Tilly. Then I will know what Mr. Bunny means. Tilly put on her boots and, and her coat. She opened the front door, swoosh, the wind swirled snow around her. Goodness, said Tilly, I forgot how cold snow is. I need a scarf and mittens. Tilly put on her scarf and mittens. Tilly went out in the snow and whenever she looked, everything was white. The bushes in the garden were white. The trees were white. The path was white. The mailbox at the end of the path was white, but something was in the mailbox, was bright red. Oh, cried Tilly, that looks special. Maybe that's what Mr. Bunny means. Tilly ran down the path to the mailbox. Swish, she slipped. Plop, she fell down. Oh dear, said Tilly. I forgot to remember how slippery snow is. Tilly lay flat on her back. The wind blew up snow around her. Snow fell on her face and sprinkled her glasses. Goodness, said Tilly. It's snowing so hard, I can't see a thing. Just then, Mr. Melmo came to deliver some Valentine's Tilly, he called. Why are you laying in the snow? Are you making snow angels? Tilly blinked her eyes, but she could not see. Is that you, Mr. Melmole? She asked. I can't remember why I'm laying in the snow, but I don't want to make snow angels. I want to make a snowman. Oh, good, said Mr. Melmole. Wait, I will help you. He tried to stuff the valentines into Tilly's mailbox, but there was no room. Goodness. She must have lots of friends. Mr. Melmo put Tilly's Valentine's down in the snow. I'm ready, he said. He started to roll a snowball. We will need a big snowball for the snowman's bottom, he said. We will need a carrot for his nose, said Tilly. Tilly ran to the house to get a carrot. But she could not see, and the wind blew her around and around. She forgot where she was going. She ran toward the mailbox instead. Suddenly, the wind blew up, Tilly's valentines up out of the snow and into the air. Red hearts and pink hearts swirled over Tilly's head. Oh, cried Tilly, how lovely, colored snowflakes. I will put them on the snowman before they melt. Tilly hurried to pick up the snowflakes, but she could not see, and she bumped into the mailbox. Is that you, Mr. Melmo? She asked the mailbox. She asked... <laughs> Help me put these snowflakes on the snowman before they melt. Tilly, where where are you? called Mr. Melmo. He went up the path to her house and knocked on the door. The snowman is finished and he needs the carrot for his nose, he called. Oh dear, I forgot to remember the carrot, cried Tilly. Just then, Mr. Bunny came hopping down the road. I will tell you when what else you forgot, he said. You forgot this. Mr. Bunny pulled a big red heart out of the mailbox. I made this valentine for you, and I wrote a poem on, on it, too. Oh, my goodness, said Tilly. A valentine? That's what I forgot. I forgot to remember it's Valentine's Day, and I didn't make a valentine for you. Tilly started to sniffle. That's all right, Tilly, said Mr. Bunny. He took out his handkerchief. Here, wipe your eyes. Tilly wiped her eyes. She wiped the snow from her glasses. She could see. 
She read the poem on her valentine. It said, roses are red, violets are blue, honey is sweet, and so are you. That's beautiful, Mr. Bunny, she cried. Thank you. There, These are for you too, said Mr. Bunny. He picked all the red and pink valentines up out of the snow. There's one from Mr. Chipmunk and one from Mrs. Fieldmouse and one from Mr. Woodchuck and one from, knock, knock, knock. Mr. Melbo banged down Tilly's door. Tilly, he called, are you there? I smell something burning. Oh my goodness, cried Tilly. I just remembered, I didn't forget Valentine's Day. I baked Valentine cupcakes. <laughs> Tilly ran to the house and into the kitchen and opened the oven door. There were the heart-shaped cupcakes, all golden brown and beautiful. It's all right, said Tilly, just some crumbs burned. Tilly iced the cupcakes with pink icing. Mr. Melmo and Mr. Bunny took turns licking the bowl clean. <laughs> then they each had a Valentine's cupcake. <laughs> and Mr. Melmo promised to deliver the rest of Tilly's Valentine cupcakes to all her friends for Valentine's Day. Oh, what good friends they are. They even took turns licking the bowl. <laughs> That's some good friends right there. Well, I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. And remember to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to make Valentine's for all your friends. Have a great day.